and California Governor Newsom traveled to Israel today to meet with people affected by the war. Yeah, this is drawing mixed emotions. The trip, again, both praise and criticism coming from the public. CBS 13's Shante Passmore is live at the state capitol with concerns. Shante. Yeah, guys, while well, hundreds of pro-Palestinian supporters gathered outside the state capitol, as you mentioned, the governor visited Israel overseas. And like the war, the trip has people divided down the line. Governor Gavin Newsom sets foot in Israel. New images show him talking to people affected by the Hamas attacks. He also met with government and hospital leaders. In a lengthy statement, he wrote in part, My heart is heavy for all innocent people under the crushing pressure of loss and grief, no matter which side of the fence they quite literally find themselves on. Hi. Palestine supporters held a sermon at the state capitol before marching throughout the streets. Free, free Palestine. The governor's visit drew fierce backlash as they renewed calls for a ceasefire and access to humanitarian aid. The governor of the state right now is meeting with the most right wing and fascist government the Israeli state has ever seen. And so we're here to stand up. Meanwhile, some Californians raised other questions. I know the president went there. But, you know, as far as uh, as being a California, you know, taxpayer, I do worry about where our dollars are going and is it going to somewhere that will really benefit that region? You know, like, does him going over there really, is that like the best use of our tax dollars? As fighting escalates, people still hope more lives are spared. But people really need to take a step back and, and focus on what's, who are the people getting hurt. Though it remains, the divide between people grows in and out of the conflict. And the governor's office tells me California already shipped medical supplies to help with the humanitarian relief efforts in both Israel and Gaza. From Israel, the governor is expected to head to China for a scheduled week-long trip where he'll highlight climate change and trade talks.